Greetings, all praise the King Hail Selassie, I, Jah, Rastafari. Today we are speaking of manufactured opposition. This is a method used by the powerful of the earth to secure their wealth. And it is popular today as it was in the past. Quite simply, it is when you play at odds with your partners. Those that will, as a result of these activities, benefit. Well, basically, most of what people see through the communication channels as a result of staging. You know, we don't just hear the random thoughts and feelings of others, but rather that which has been you know, predestined. <clears throat> and in the process of divide and rule, or divide and conquer, which most people know of the term now, however they discredit it because it's frequently talked about as if, well if it was still, you know, happening, then people wouldn't, you know, be discussing it. So this is the, the witchcraft of the communication channels to make people believe in something that's not real. You know, it can also be considered half-truth <clears throat> only because they give you facts to back up their claims, but they twist the, the perception and so that it leaves an imprint on a prospective servant. Remember, in the world, those are called to worship and serve the beast. The Christ that came and set himself separate from man's way. Even those of his tribe, you know, the Pharisees, the Christ had condemned, even so much as to say the harlots would enter therein before. What is these Roman rulers doing to keep their power? They're splitting the people on the bottom apart by issues. Many times these are just talking points, what's called talking points. And that is really a non-issue, see? So the real issues are going undiscussed and the people are being presented other thoughts as if they are of significance and many of them have to do with this petty trivial rivalry that is a fabrication you see today <clears throat> yeah. even in the past, these political administrations, they're being coordinated through an institutional framework, which in itself is a product of this divide and rule strategy, in that it 
defines the issues that divide people. And again, many of these issues are not actually of significance. For example, abortion is an issue that divides people. And yet, where in this country could, pe could people not, women not get abortions? Well, maybe in one little town or county in Texas, for example. So the issue stays alive when the reality, the results are that the children are being aborted. And if you uh, permitted abortion within this little town in Texas, going to get very many more abortions. You will not get any more. What's happened now is that they've made it a novelty to abort a child because the woman the woman is you know saying this is my body, this is my right. It's similar to the gun issue whereas the big dog is barking about bullets and because of the talk the results are the bullets are flying off the shelves even the ones that claim opposition to the trade are the ones that motivate it and as a result they win. They win at the expense of all the other creatures of the earth. Even within the earth liberation movement, you have major infiltration. Some of this is done through state, some of it is done through county, some of it is done through the federal agencies, like this the, uh, Homeland Security. But the reason why these agencies are split is to make the appearance that they're separate, that somehow by adding an agency here and adding an agency there, that there's more safety in the form of checks and balances, people, as a result, become more secure. But that's a deception, because in truth, the earth is being destroyed. When you see an article and it talks about, you know, the terrorism agency is watching these groups closely, Maybe these groups are a part of the terrorism agency. They function as a whole. Time will tell. Does the pipeline go down? Is the oil shipped? And now they're working closely with the communication channels and the police. To put on a show, to make the appearance that, oh, something's going on here. And many of these, you know, these, these, these sprout ups, these, these, these folks that catapult out of thin air, quite possibly, may be part of this. And they might actually, say, run for election someday. So, the Babylon, the soldier of Rome, is all about this, the name. The name. And they're trying to build their name up. 
destroy the Christs, King Selassie Abjah.